He loves math, but he gets bad grades, really bad grades. But he loves mathematics, but he can't perform. This is an email I received recently. I won't read the email or anything, but the person was basically not performing well, but they love math. This is really common. This is something I've seen over and over throughout the years. I've had thousands of students teaching in college, and I've seen it over and over and over. You get people who love mathematics, but for some reason, they don't get the best grades. They'll get C's and B's, but they're never like the top students, but they love math. So why does this happen? Well, there could be a few reasons. An uncommon reason, I'll start with one that's not common, is that the teacher grades too harshly. And this is an uncommon one. I've known a lot of teachers. Most teachers are pretty good at grading. I have always been a slightly easier grader. I still, still grade pretty hard, but a little bit easier than a lot of other teachers. I'm pretty lenient with partial credit, as long as there's some real learning and understanding happening and, you know, you give them some points. But some teachers are really strict. And I think that hurts people who love math, but can't perform well. If you're one of those people and you're in a class and you have a teacher that grades strictly, it's going to hurt you a little bit more, you know, because some teachers will take off a lot of points, even for small computational errors, which I, I don't agree with. I think it's wrong, but that could happen to you. So that's an uncommon reason. That's an uncommon reason. I shouldn't have started with that one. Let's start with something more common. It's that I think that people who really love math and don't perform well, they spend a lot of time learning other math, which, hey, I, I know you're guilty of it because I'm guilty of it too. You know, if you're taking a calculus class, you want to learn about combinatorics. If you're taking an abstract algebra class, it doesn't matter how bad you want to learn abstract algebra, two months into that class, you're going to want to learn real analysis because you're going to say, oh, all this homework, I have to learn all this stuff, I don't understand all of it, let me go do something more fun. Very, very common, common human behavior. I experienced it pretty much my whole academic career. You know, whenever I was in any class, I always wanted to do self-study and, and learn something else. And so I think the students who love math and, and can't perform well, my theory is that they spend time doing other stuff. You know, if they're in a differential equations class, they want to know about partial differential equations. If they're in a discrete math class, they want to go back to calculus, right? And, and that's okay. I think it's good to be curious. It's good to love mathematics, but you have to have priorities and you have to prioritize your time and focus on what's in front of you, right? If you're taking a math class in college, or in high school, grades matter. As much as I want to say grades don't matter that much, they can matter a lot. They probably don't matter as much as people say they do. But I've seen instances where student A and student B, you know, and you have to choose between them, and the student with the higher grade gets, you know, the award or the money or whatever, and the student who is probably better but didn't perform as well doesn't get the, the award or the money. So grades are a deciding factor for many, many things, scholarships, admissions, etc. So they do matter. So try to focus on what's in front of you. Focus on your homework. Focus on what's going to be on the test. You know, go see the teacher, right? Go over your notes, right? Focus on the class you're taking. So if you're one of these people who loves math and you just can't perform, you got to focus on what's in front of you. A common thing that happens with these people who love math, and it happens with me too because I love math, it's that they always want to know the why. So you're in a class and you, know, you see some formula and you're thinking, where does it come from? It's so mysterious. The teacher could show you, but they don't have time because it would take 20, 30 minutes of class time to explain everything. And the truth is, most people probably wouldn't understand the explanation because sometimes they're pretty hard, right? And these are just students in a class. They're not experts, right? So it's hard for people to understand these things. 
and it takes the teacher's time, and the teacher's not going to test you on it, so the teacher doesn't go over it. What's the point, right? It would be a waste of class time. Instead, the teacher fo focuses on examples, hopefully, and things that you'll see on a test, you know, what you really need to learn. And so focus on those things. As far as the derivation, you can go home and spend some time on it, watch a video, try to read it in your book, but don't spend five hours on it when you know you could be spending those five hours actually grinding through calculus homework problems or whatever class you're taking, right? So focus what's on in front of you. Focus on your success. You know, if you're in a class in high school or in college, this is the one time you're in that class. Oh, hopefully, right? Ho hopefully. I mean, it all goes well, but really think about it. This is probably the only time in your life you're going to be in that class. 20 years from now, you are not going to be in that class. Make it count, right? Make it count. Make your love of math come through. Let it be known that you love math by getting the highest grade in the class, right? Because if you like math, you have that fire inside of you to work harder than most people. So you could probably do really well if you took all of that love and all of that energy and all of that desire that you have to learn mathematics and you focused on what's in front of you, focused on like your actual stuff, like your homework and you know, whatever you're supposed to learn. If you like suck it up and do it, you'll get better, you'll get a good grade, and you'll get results. Whereas if instead, you know, you're like, oh, you know, where's the derivation come from? This is interesting. That's not going to help you in your class, right? It's cool to learn, but you're in a class and you have to perform. So you do it, right? That's the thing. That's what successful people do. When, when they have to perform, they perform. Whether it be going to college, going to work, whatever. They take responsibility and they perform. So do it. Do it. Let your love of math come through with that 100%. You know, get a 100% on your next test. Anyways, kind of a rant video. I just, I've known a lot of people that love math and they don't perform as well as they should. You're like, oh, they, they're, they're, gonna do, they're gonna get an A and they don't. And I think it's because they love math so much that they spend time on other things. I really think that's the key. Sometimes it's because of the teacher, you know, harsh graders, not a fan of those, but most of the time, most of the time, it's because they don't spend enough time honing their skills. And if you have a harsh grader, if you're taking one of these teachers that grades really harsh, you know, you need to really, really step up your game because there's no pity sometimes, you know, that you, you add wrong. <laughs> so good luck. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have math courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get my courses, please use the links from my website for two reasons. One, it helps me greatly. Otherwise, Udemy takes like a huge cut. Two, I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So whenever you click my links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com, you will get a low price. I've got courses on algebra, calculus, abstract algebra, analysis, uh, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of calculus courses, differential equations, etc. So you can learn lots of mathematics. The key takeaway from this video should be if you feel like you love math and you're not performing well, just really try to focus on what's in front of you. Focus on the homework, focus on the test, get the good grade. Once you're done with the test, once you get that A, then you can go back and go on YouTube and read about you know, the, the Riemann zeta function and whatever, you know, learn other cool stuff. It's never as cool when you have to learn it, I know. It's always cooler to learn other stuff. So you have to, I, I don't wanna say fight that, it's, it's good to explore, it's good to do self-study, but you need to prioritize and focus on your classes. Oh, before I forget, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. And I do have another YouTube channel, I keep forgetting to mention it, so I'll mention it if you're still watching. It's called The Internet Sorcerer. It's, gone, it's undergone a few name changes. I think I'm gonna stick with this one, The Internet Sorcerer. Um, I have a bunch of videos there, mostly product reviews and other random non-math things. I might put some math on there, but probably not. Just other stuff, you know, other stuff. Just, it's a random YouTube channel. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.